Good afternoon, everybody. This is meteorologist Ryan Munn. Kind of a nasty morning out there, and this afternoon, I do think it gets a little bit better, but it's not going to be a really, really nice afternoon as well, as we are going to see mostly cloudy skies, areas of drizzle as well, even a couple showers possible as we head into this afternoon, but not also a washout either. Temperatures only in the 50s to near 60 degrees, but that's really not the story over the next several days, as we are going to see some big time heat as we head into this weekend. In some cases, we are going to add 35, 40 degrees onto those temperatures. It is going to be very hot out there this weekend, so get those air conditioners in for tomorrow if they are not already in across your in, in your house. Now, as we look at the forecast for tonight, an isolated evening shower is possible, but I think for the most part that is an isolated chance and then patchy fog develops after midnight. But look at some of those temperatures as we head into the day on Saturday. We are talking temperatures that will run in the mid 90s across much of interior Connecticut right along the shoreline, though 70s to right about 80 degrees. So across the entire state it is going to be warm and humid, but it is going to be brutally hot, especially across interior Connecticut, where we could be looking at the heat index in the mid to upper 90s across the state. The inland forecast over the next eight days, a nicer day tomorrow, but there is the threat for maybe an isolated shower or even a quick storm as we head into Friday evening. And then Saturday, hazy, hot, humid. Sunday, hazy, hot, humid. But I do think another round of showers and thunderstorms move in as we head into Sunday evening. And that's associated with a cold front that is going to drop our temperatures for the day on Monday and through much of the work week as well with temperatures that will top out only in the mid to upper 70s, which is about average for this time of the year. So really, we're just knocking the temperatures back to average. And then along the shoreline, much of the same temperatures will top out into the low to mid 70s for much of next week. That's the latest look at the forecast. Have a great day.